Hi Thea. Uh, I am Tim Sarsini. I am the Artistic Director of the Columbus Gamers Chorus. Uh, this is going to be my sixth year uh, and my 18th year with the chorus. Prior to this uh, being the AD, I was the Assistant Director for 12 years. Hi Tim, I have a very similar story in that <laughs> I am the Artistic Director of the Gamers Chorus of Washington, D.C and I am just starting my second year in that role. Um, however, before then, I was the assistant conductor for 10 years. With That's the great. Course. So tell me about Finding Oz. Uh, and Finding Oz is a coffee concert that we'll be performing in 2016. We've been wanting to do one, and now uh, we're very excited that we were selected. Uh, so many of us uh, are pretty much are bystanders to what happens, and what this, uh, uh, what this story does to uh, the music we will use uh, teaches uh, those bystanders to be upstanders and to really support uh, those who are struggling. We're using the music of Judy Garland's catalog and also the iterations from uh, musicals like Boy From Oz and The Wiz and Wicked. We're going to use those music as a tapestry to, to tell the story. So, so tell me about Carmina Burana. Carmina Burana will be one of the coffee concerts presented at Festival 2016, so we're very excited to have that opportunity to present it in that showcase. I mean, I love that piece. It's on my bucket list to conduct, and I, I've loved that piece ever since high school. I'd love to hear more. Well, it's the 80th anniversary of uh, Carl Orff writing Carmina Burana, and a lot of choruses around the world are programming it this year. And it's unusual for a gala chorus to program it, and I thought, how could we do a great work like that and put the LGBT lens on it? and um, it's often choreographed, mm -hmm. um, where a, a, perhaps a dance company will come in and, and perform with the chorus and an orchestra. Um, and I've seen it like that many mm -hmm. times, and it's always boy meets girl. Mm -hmm. So I thought, what if we made it girl meets girl and mm -hmm. boy meets boy? Yeah. And we just kind of mix it up a little bit. So what we'll be doing, um, we're presenting it as a coffee concert at uh, Festival uh, 2016, which we're very excited about. That's awesome. Um, we'll be bringing some dancers with us. Uh, we're going to do the um, arrangement that's two piano and a lot of percussion, mm -hmm. like four sets of timpani. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and we're going to present a three-dimensional um, uh, presentation in that the the dancers will actually be in the chorus mm -hmm. and as we start the big O four tune it'll, it'll seem like a stand and sing big production and then as the story is untold a dancer will come out from the from the chorus you know a, perhaps a female of course we're a, a men's chorus mm -hmm. so we will have some dancers that are female um, and maybe come out and the another one comes out and they discover each other but then go back into the chorus and kind mm -hmm. of fade back in. Oh, cool. And we haven't decided on the, on the costuming yet. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps they'll be um, costumed in you know, all red, all orange, et cetera, representing the pride flag. Sure. Um, so we're hoping that the theme that comes out is that love is universal and right. it has nothing to do with your gender. Right, that's awesome. Yeah. So Tim, are there any highlights from uh, Finding Oz that we can look forward to seeing? Well, we're hoping to have the appearance of Judy Garland somehow <gasps> in the show. So we're, we're still working on that. <laughs> Um, you know, she was a, a, a centering force, you know, and, and you know, of course, you know, Stonewall began when she died. So um, hope, we're hoping she can, will make an appearance. That's very intriguing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Thea, is there anything special you have planned for, I mean, beyond what you've already told me? Any, any kind of surprises that you were willing to share? Well, it was a surprise as much as exciting that um, the youth chorus that is in the um, Carmina Brana mm -hmm. is going to be all the youth that have gathered here next summer oh, from various choruses. Now, I say that now. Not all the directors are aware of this yet, but they're <laughs> going to be invited. So I've um, you know, spoken to a couple of the directors, and um, they're very excited about it and oh, willing to have their, their students as part of it. Um, we'll have um, probably a dozen youth coming from Washington as well, mm -hmm. but we want to fill like one side of the parquet uh, sure. box there with, with the youth there so they can be observing and, and watching the, the performance as well as participating in, of course, the two movements in which they right. perform. They'll stand and sing. So. That's awesome. Oh. Festival is always so inspiring, and I'm looking forward to um, feeling affirmation and confirmation that what we do does make such a big difference, um, and being inspired by what other choruses are doing, getting ideas for how we can also make an impact in our community on the way other choruses have been doing, um, doing that, and just that that the energy of being surrounded by 6,000 people who have the same passion and compassion and belief in the mission. Right. Uh, it's really exciting. And all the applause. I mean, let's face it, we just mm -hmm. love that. We love that. <laughs> <laughs> and even after we leave the stage and we walk yeah. out to go get our photos taken and right. we walk through a tunnel of, 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 of just yeah. high fives and it just, it's really, I mean, 
the love is just incredible. And there's no feeling like it. Nothing like Nothing it. Nothing at all. Yeah, and it's hard to explain to our singers who have not gone mm -hmm. before, like the newbies, for example, and say, here's why you need to put this week aside, because it will change your life.